Hey, what's up YouTube? It's ICU. And in today's video, I wanted to talk to you guys about untethered jailbreaks. Give a quick lesson on that because so many people ask us about untethered, tethered, and semi-untethered. And I also wanted to touch on whether or not the uncovered jailbreak will be updated to include untethered support for iOS 12 through 12.1.2. All right, so let's kick this video off with a quick history lesson before we get into whether Uncover will be updated to include untethered support. Now, for those of you who don't know, a tethered jailbreak made use of a hardware-based exploit, and essentially, it meant that you could not reboot your device at all without plugging it into a computer and rerunning a certain portion of the jailbreak to repatch the kernel. That's it. It was basically a brick. If it died, if you turned it off, you could not turn it back on without connecting it to a computer. An untethered jailbreak, by contrast, is exactly what it sounds like. A jailbreak that actually patches the kernel and it persists through reboots. So that means that you can simply just reboot your device. If it dies, you can plug it back in and power it back up without the assistance of a computer. Once you jailbroke once, that was it. So basically it would differ from today's uncovered jailbreak in the sense that once you rebooted or once your device died and you powered it back up, you wouldn't have to do anything extra. You wouldn't have to open up uncover. You wouldn't have to tap re-jailbreak. It would already be good to go and you could use everything that you obtained via Cydia. And then we started to coin the term here on the channel, semi-untethered, which essentially just meant that yes, you could reboot your device, but you couldn't use any portion of of your jailbreak or any tweaks that you installed via Cydia unless you actually rerun a certain portion of the jailbreak. Those became very, very commonplace very quickly. Unfortunately, tethered jailbreaks died out simply because Apple does not leave room for hardware-based exploits in their A-series processors any longer. That died along with the A4, sadly. The great thing about tethered jailbreaks was that they could simply be updated for every single firmware because the exploit couldn't be patched. Now, jailbreaks are much harder to come by and of course the untethered jailbreaks have kind of died off simply because these semi-untethered jailbreaks require much less work less exploits and with the introduction of ios 9 jailbreak developers can bypass the need for an exploit to initiate unsigned code simply because we can now sign our own applications and get them running on our devices or we can use a developer enterprise certificate to get them running on device without the need of a computer so that's why we have semi-untethered jailbreaks these days, and untethered jailbreaks have passed on to myth. The last untethered jailbreaks were actually the likes of Pangu and Taiji for iOS 8. Be sure to give this video a huge thumbs up if you remember the jailbreaks of old and you want to pay homage to both Taiji as well as Pangu. And unfortunately, so many rumors and so much misinformation has begun to spread across the web suggesting that the Uncover iOS 12 jailbreak will include untethered support. Unfortunately, that is a fully fabricated, bold-faced lie. Pwn even confirmed this, tweeting out, quote, I can confirm that the guy who claims to have an iOS 12 untether that he is going to release for Uncover is a fraud and doesn't have an untether. So there you go, guys. This video was just meant to answer the question, what's the difference between tethered, untethered, semi-untethered, and whether we'll get an untethered jailbreak for iOS 12 in the form of an Uncover update, which again, no, we will not. And as one last sticking point, I just wanted to say that tethered jailbreaks were actually by far my favorite versus untethered, or of course, what we have now, the semi-untethered jailbreaks. Again, they could be updated and they persisted across iOS updates. How fantastic would that be, guys, to have a new hardware exploit that would simply work when a developer updated the tool to include support for future iOS updates? That's just amazing. Unfortunately, there's almost 100% certainty, though we can't say definitively, that we will never see such a tool again. But I hope you guys liked this video. Be sure to subscribe if you have yet to, to be notified when the A12 through A12X iOS 12 Uncovered Jailbreak drops. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.